Hello and welcome to episode 77 of the Disconnected Gamers Podcast, where we reconnect with life and gaming. I am one of your hosts, Andrew, also known as J-Bond. With me, as always... It's yo boy, Hassan out here, from my Hassan. main man. From my main man, the Lord. The Lord. It's your boy, Mike. Noise. Yeah, we, got, we out here hustling from the main man, oh, G-O-D. Hustling every day. Goddamn yeah. day. Y'all need to get straight and see the light. Mm-hmm. Hustle for your mm-hmm. man. Your man upstairs. Hustle. <laughs> Start hustling. Hustle hard. <laughs> He's going to be sending that money in a few days. Yeah, and the Lord will set you free. <laughs> I can't wait till somebody listens to this and they're like, I'm offended. And I'll be like, well, great. Right? Oh, like, hey, man, fine. it's because you don't believe in the Lord. <laughs> yeah, right. Don't mean yeah, you man. can't appreciate the good word. I'll tell you something, man. Yeah. Look at him, man. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. <man. laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> it is Wednesday, November 30th, and we've successfully managed to record two podcasts in one month. Uh,. As Ooh. long as this gets posted today, which it will, it will. I don't have to go to work till tomorrow, so um, I should be able to get this done. Oh, snaps. Uh, so I figured it's post Black Friday, post Cyber Monday. Uh, we should talk about the deals we snagged. And yeah. I so this is the first time I've actually bought a lot of video games in like one sitting. Because you don't have to worry a whole lot. Yeah, because I've been around. hustling. I've been hustling from a main man. Yeah, you've been and hustling. Now I get that's why. I now I get them stacks. You got the fast stacks. I get them stacks. So I bought through the PSN flash sale. I bought Overwatch, mm-hmm. the regular, just oh, the regular edition, because it was like thirty-four bucks. And then I bought uh, Infinite Warfare with the Modern Warfare Remastered. Because you know, you remember how it had like so you had the, the flash sale and there was all the games, but then there was that ten percent discount code. Yep. Well, that's, that's basi- how I got Overwatch. Yeah, like that basically made it the same price that Best Buy had it because Best Buy had it for like twenty nine ninety nine, and the mm-hmm. flash sale was thirty four seventy nine less ten percent, which is three dollars and forty seven cents, yeah. which makes it like thirty one. And uh, Infinite Warfare was like fifty nine ninety nine, and I think it was fifty six ninety nine. On the flash sale, so like basically, I just traded the difference. Um, Pretty much, yeah. And then that way, I got them instantly versus I would have had to wait for them to ship from Best Buy. Best Buy, yeah. Um, Titanfall was twenty nine ninety nine on Amazon before Black Friday, so I bought that and then had Snagged to wait. That, right? Yeah, I had to wait for it to ship. Um, and then on Black Friday. My sister-in-law was out shopping, and she picked me up that Super Mario 3DS, the new 3DS, for 99 right, right, right. For ninety nine. For that ninety-nine dollars. Yeah, you know what the real, you know what the, re- and, and you know what we talked about this on a podcast way back in the day when the new 3DS came out, and how I was like, "That's dumb that it doesn't come with a fucking charger." Mm-hmm. It's really fucking dumb that it doesn't come with a charger. I That's can't fucking play it. I don't have a that's charger. That's why it's cheaper. It's cheaper by like ten bucks. Yep. Charge well, me. Well, the... that, that's literally why they did it. Yeah, I know. They made I know. The packaging smaller. Yeah, like we're re- yeah. like this is like a reliving of that conversation from before. They made the fucking packaging smaller so they can ship mm. more on that goddamn crate from China or Japan or wherever the fuck they make them, so they can yep. sell more of them. But like, you have to then do the same thing with chargers. Like, I should not be going into GameStop, a brick-and-mortar fucking store that sells video games, to buy a fucking charger. Take out a charger, yep. And you tell me that you have Nintendo 3DSs in stock and no chargers. Yep. You should never have more of fucking systems than Thomas. chargers. Chargers. You should have like one and a half times the amount of chargers for the amount of systems you have. I was I was beyond frustrated when I was sitting in that so. stupid line and the <laughs> dude in front of me gets a 3DS. And first off, the dude brings out a refurb one and the kid mm-hmm. was like, yeah, I don't trust refurb stuff. So do you have new ones? And he's like, yeah, but it's more. And he's like, I don't care. And, it, and right, my yeah. head, I'm like, my man, big ups to you because I kind of agree. But at the same time, whatever. Right. 
And then the dude brings it out, and he's like, by the way, it doesn't come with a charger, and we're out of stock. And I was like, you've got to be shitting me, because I came in literally to buy a game a charge. and a charger. Because I'm going right. to California on Friday mm. with the PlayStation Experience, mm. and it would be nice if I could use the 3DS that I got. Right. So that literally means that a whole – okay, so a whole bunch of parents went in – or, you know, when someone else bought 3DSs, we're told no chargers. That means they went to GameStop, bought out all the chargers then. Right. That's what tells me. Or they bought the game, the, the bundle there, and they're like, oh, no charger. Okay, well, you have some. Yes. Okay, cool. Here. I'll buy it here. Right. Yeah. Like, well, I, don't, I, don't, like I, don't understand, I don't understand how GameStop managed to run out of chargers. You would think they would have had more. Yeah. You, like, I would just think that they would just ship a bazillion of them to the store. Because they have yeah. to assume that people are going to go there to buy, like, games and chargers, but they may get that console elsewhere. Right. Exactly. Like, and I don't, I, and, like, I, I don't think it's that, like, people bought two. Like, why would you buy, you wouldn't buy two chargers, right? No, like, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't think in the history of my life I've ever went, bought a console, and then immediately and then bought chargers, another yeah. charger. However, now I have two chargers coming to me from Amazon because... I ha uh, my brother's got Prime, so I was like, "Hey, order me this," and he was like, "Cool, done." And then I I texted him yesterday and was like, "Hey, what's the status on that?" Because like I'm going to California on Friday, and he was like, "Oh, it's out of stock," and I'm like, "Bruh, why didn't you tell me? Like I need <laughs> I need the charger, like I need to use it." I'm mm -hmm. like, "The thing is dead. I can't even t like if I turn it on, it's gonna shut off immediately." Like. And he's like, well, why don't you just use my charger? And I'm like, because I'm ta I would be taking it to California. Then you can't use yours because yours will die in three days. Like, mm -hmm. and so then I had to have him one day ship me a different charger that they had in stock. So that is supposed to show up tomorrow. As long as it works. Right. So yeah, so I have this cool Super Mario Black Nintendo 3DS. Okay. Is it a plate or is it is that the theme of the 3DS? Uh it's a yeah the it's a Super Mario plate yeah. Okay. Like, okay. So it's the one with all the like the Mario and the the yeah. block coin blocks and like all the yep, yep. yeah it's that one. Uh, okay. They have a there's a white version too but I got the black one. Um, black. Yeah, their plates they removed but the the console itself is black. Like it's if just I put the normal black. Yeah, if I put plates on it, it would still be a black console with just whatever plates. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, otherwise, it seems really cool. I did like I didn't even bother opening Pokemon Moon because I was like, I'm not gonna open it until I can charge the damn 3ds. Right, yeah, because you can't play it. <laughs> yeah, it's not gonna, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna do anything. I yet. do believe what before it died that I have fully set up my, like I made myself a me and set up the account, so like I have a friend code and all that stuff, but. Jeez. I was wondering yeah. I didn't get a friend code. Yeah. But I forgot you don't have a charger, so. Yep. Um I ignored the Steam sale. I uh to yeah, I'm gonna skip oh. them and just end that conversation because I'm so frustrated with not having a charger. Um I I peeped the Steam sale. Mm. Did Anything? nothing 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 really caught my eye because I just don't I prefer not to play games on PC. Um right. But like Just Cause was re Just Cause Three was really cheap. But Just Cause Three was really cheap on PS4 too. I just I couldn't uh, couldn't pull the trigger on it. That game was fun. I had it on Xbox One. Yeah, like Just Cause Two was a blast. I love that, but mm -hmm. it's still similar. Yeah, just more explosions, more uh, Michael Bay explosions. Right. Um, I'm trying to think. Yeah, I think that was. I think as far as games went i think that was it i got the 3ds i got pokemon Mo i got pokemon moon after the fact and it was the same price so it really doesn't matter yeah right i got titanfall 2 overwatch infinite warfare with modern warfare remastered and i think that's it nice so what did you get see i picked up a, a lot of stuff that i didn't even really intend to pick up mm yeah, you posted Except that picture. You posted all that yeah. stuff. Except maybe Dishonored 2. I did want that. I got uh, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time on 3DS. Nice. That Recore. Di that's digital, I'm assuming? No, uh, these are all physical. Oh, okay. I got these all physical. Uh, Recore, Dishonored 2, Star Wars Battlefront Ultimate Edition for like 39 or something like that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> well, normally it would be like way over 100. 
uh, Dragon Quest Heroes and Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD, which came with the Wolf Link Amiibo, which gotcha. I'm not sure if I even want to open because I don't know if they sell it by itself because if they don't, then that means this thing will probably at end some up point, being worth money. End up being worth yeah. a little bit. Well, it's like and why the, I, have uh, the, I have the Rosalina Amiibo sitting unopened. Right. Because like that was only so that was a Target exclusive. So. Oh, gotcha. I don't think I've seen it. It's it's it hasn't been sold. I don't it, it's no. been like I don't think they sell it. Uh, mm. And then I could be just wrong. I don't I'm not like right, an Amiibo hunter, I mean, but I haven't. They seen could have it. had just an exclusive deal for like a whole you know few months. Right. Because I know that's what you usually do. Target does that or not Target. Uh, Toys R Us does that with specific items, and then you'll see them at Walmart and Target. And I also got a sick ass white Xbox One controller. It was like thirty five. Right. I kind of need to. I think I need to get a new PlayStation Four controller. Yeah, I think the ba- like the battery just does not last very long anymore. The one with the newer seems okay. Right. Like I, I wonder. Like I don't. I don't know I if I go a few days without having to charge it. Yeah, like I can't. I can't even go a full day without having to charge it. But like, part of me wonders if it's because I used to always leave it plugged in with that like fifteen foot USB cable, oh, and like maybe, maybe yeah. it's just like the battery's just worn down and doesn't keep a charge anymore. Keep a charge, yeah. But like, I've managed to, I, I've gone through so many fucking USB cables for that, like to charge it, because like at one point they just stop working. So right. Um, like, but I finally uh, like I have another one that's just like it's just long enough that I can sit in my chair play games mm-hmm. while it's connected so that it's less of an issue. Right. So I usually just play with it unplugged until it's like the battery is low and then I plug it in and move on with my life. Move on, yeah. Um Man, I'll charge mine in rest mode. Yeah. Exactly. So what else did you get besides or was that was that kinda it? Uh well and Dishonored one. I got mm. that for like buy something on PSN because of the uh, 10% off code, and I guess it was already discounted. Yeah, it was already discounted, and I, yeah, the 10% off code, so I got it for like a lot cheaper than it would have been. Right. So then, yeah, that's about it. Nothing went too fancy. I would I would definitely recommend ReCore. That's fun. Especially if you uh, dig Metroid Prime and all that. Because I think it's from the same team and also uh, Comcast, which made Mighty Number no. Nine. Yeah. But they didn't make it like Mighty Number no. Nine, so it's actually good. Right. But... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, nothing too fancy. Right. Just stuff I saw for cheap, so I was like, well, I mean, I'm not going to get any cheaper. So, And I did want these games, so I was like, I might as well. Might yeah, as well. That makes sense. That makes sense. Just add to your library. Because everything else I already had, like Watch Dogs and, you know, Call of Duty and whatever else came out, I had already bought it before Black Friday. So I was like, well, crap. I could have got deals, but oh well, whatever. What ifs? Hey, my, look at him, man. <laughs> hey, look at him, man. I'm not trying to say no money. I'm trying to ball out. Right. <laughs> ball, ball out. Yeah, yeah nothing, not, nothing too fancy. Nothing too fancy. Some um, basic games, I guess you could say. True, true. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, did you hear Uh-oh. that Kojima is going to be doing a signing at PlayStation Experience? <sighs> I'm about to tell work to suck it. <laughs> like pack myself in a suitcase and like say it's yours and like send myself to the event. Yeah. Just fuck fucking jump in a box. You have your friend, right. have fucking Sam seal it up and just fucking ship yourself to ship me. Like, ship, this ship, is ship for your, Andrew ship on that to, day. Ship yourself to my yeah. hotel. Yeah. It's for Andrew on that day. I'll keep the crate. And we'll ship you back. Yeah. <laughs> Must be nice. Yeah, my question is, am I even going to get a chance to actually meet him? Like, that That's, fucking line is well, going to be mad. I know one of your PlayStation buddies, I think he goes by Retgar on PSN. Yeah, Didn't he meet him? 
Yeah, he, Ray's, he Ray's, Ray's met him before. Yeah. He's met him. Fuck. Yeah. Ray's, Ray, Ray, has Ray has literally Ray has literally met like everybody. Everybody. Because didn't he meet uh 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 Yosef? Oh, Shu? Yeah, he's met Shu. Uh, Shu, yeah, didn't he he's, meet Shu? I think he's met Shu like several times because he's been he Jeez. I believe, if I recall correctly, Ray has been at Ray was at the PlayStation launch party, the mm-hmm. one in New York. He was at Fuck the yeah. thing with Snoop Dogg in New York that PlayStation did, the Heroes thing. Nice. He's been to E3 for the last several years. Um, obviously, he's been to PlayStation Experience. Right. Um, Ambassador or something. Different. Yeah, well, he was in the MVP program as well. So uh, like, but he's been in it forever, and he just he, he just goes to everything. So. It's fair. Um, That's packs nice. and all that stuff, yeah. Hey man, when you hustling for the Lord, it's true. I mean, even if you get to walk by, just yell, "Yo, my boy, Mike, <laughs> my son, boy," and just, and just run <laughs> off. So he's I'll like, come. What? I'll come up with you like Facetime to be like, "Yo, my boy wanted to say hello." Yo, what up? <sighs> Konnichiwa. <laughs> Konnichiwa. I, I don't Konnichiwa. even actually know if that's like the correct thing. So like that could be so. I could technically have just been so offensive. Yeah, there's there's a there's a formal way to say it to your elders and all that. Um, but but, but anyways, but, but, anyways, but I wasn't, I wasn't done yet though. Uh, ukuleles was that playable? Was he just added or? Yeah, it was like a surprise thing at the end, like towards Son the end that he's gonna be, bitch. he's gonna be there. Um, let me check the list because I saw there's a list of like, I don't know what games, but like what events they're gonna have, who's gonna be there, what you know, what they're gonna do on Saturday, what they're gonna do on Sunday. Right, it's like a little bit of list. Yeah, he's going to be doing oh. a um, a full panel on Death Stranding it's on Saturday oh. and assumes this means the game was one of the hidden titles they plan to show off during the opening conference. Uh, okay. Right after the panel is over, he will be doing an autograph signing for those in attendance until 2.45. So it looks Jeez. like I'm going to have to hit that panel at 1. At 1, yeah. And then do that. So yeah, this is your first event that you're not press, right? Or media? Uh, well, yeah. I mean, in theory, uh, yes. Because like PSX is like the one time where I just basically go as an attendee because I there's no they would never right. give me media. Um, as far as I've it. talked to my friends in higher places, they were like, "Yo, the media list is so fucking hush hush low key." They're like, "It's not." Uh, they're gotcha. like even we like even we had trouble and I'm like you write for a major news like entity. Oh dang. Um, All right then. So Fair enough. Yeah, so I guess it's I guess they keep it very limited. And we wanted you to start writing when you was born. No, I think they just if you're going to be doing media, I think they legit are like only major, you know. Oh, right, uh, whoops. right, right, right. Whoops, sorry alarm that I set a while ago. Um didn't hear it. Yeah, they just – which is fine. Like, I, get, I totally – If you don't have a name, like, we're not going to give you – Yeah, like, and I get it. Like, this Perfect. is their yeah, big okay. event. They want to make sure they have awesome coverage, and they're not just going to throw right. badges to people. They don't want just some dude. Yeah. Like, you you, could you imagine me, like, getting time with Kojima to interview him? Like, what? So that, like, a handful of people would see it on my website? Like, I mean, <laughs> that would get us hits, but, yo, we talked to my boy Kojima. Yeah, I mean, we would up. get, you know, you sure, that would get tons of hits, yeah. obviously. But, like, just I think right. in, I think in retrospect they would probably have been like, yeah, that was, we could have used that time better. Which makes sense. Like, it's right. kind of, yeah, it's yeah. there's a lot, go, like, there's a lot going on at PSX that makes it kind of hard for them to probably afford that luxury. Just straight up, yeah. Right. Yeah, so, like, yeah. I, get, I get it. I don't, I'm not. And, and for right, me, it's nice because it's the, it's one either. event that I can go and not have to worry about it. Like, I can still go right, see. do whatever the heck you want. Because it's not like, the cool thing about PSX is the lines were never that big. Uh. Like, so I never had to really wait. Like, I, when I when Uncharted 4 was there last year, it was literally 15 minutes to play. And then you well. played a match, and then I got back in line, and it was 15 minutes, and I was back on. Oh, so like, so there's like, no limit on how long, you, how how much you can play. Then no, they, you just you played could... one multiplayer match. 
and then no, I mean like, but maybe oh, like, they're not going to they, stop you. No, if you've absolutely. Played, you could, I could spend like, the whole day just going. Else. Yeah, oh, okay. I could go the whole day and play yeah. and just keep playing that. Um, all day. Nice. Uh, I could have met. <sighs> I kind of, I could have met Neil Druckmann, and I kind of blew it. He was literally like arm's length away chatting with my friends at Naughty Dog when I was chatting with them, and I should have just been like, "Can you sign this for me, please?" Right. And then I didn't. And I kind of regret it. I should have just been like, you know what? I know I'm trying to be professional and whatnot, but I should have just fanboyed out and been like, yo, I'm a boy. Can you sign this? Yeah. You're not, you're not, oh, you're never going to get the chance, you know? And and like, and the frustrating thing is like, I'm not like I'm attending as a person. So like he has to understand that I'm just like, I'm just a fan like everybody else. Like I just happen to know some of the people that he works with and I would have just loved to have. It's true. Just been like geeked out for a minute and been like, yo, my boy, big fan, big fan, <laughs> big fan of The Last of Us, big fan of Uncharted 4. Mm-hmm. Um, that makes me sad. No one's ever going to know that we had a Naughty Dog related episode. It's well, no, people know. I've told people about it that we recorded. Well, I mean, that, but, but they reco- won't get to hear it. Yeah, they won't get to hear it. Yes, yeah, unfortunately, that, it. that episode will yeah. sadly never really come to come to life. Um, got to throw it in the vault. Yep, got to throw up. it in the vault and lock it up. Cause I, cause it never got approved or released to the public. Oh, did we get one approval though? Yeah, we got we approval got from okay, the head yeah, of the studio. We, we got one okay. Yeah, we, we got a, we got approval. Second. We got approval from one of the, one of the top people at Naughty Dog who listened to it, thought it was cool, but we needed needed two. We needed them. We needed two two sign offs. Uh huh. Couldn't Dang. get that second one. Don't be hype. I mean, this is totally hypothetical. But if you walked up to anyone at Naughty Dog, they're like, "Oh yeah, hey, that episode, you can play, you can post it." Like, oh, I could, I like that's the person, the person that needs to approve it is the person that I was talking with at Naughty Dog, at that moment in time. Uh, he is a friend of mine. It's just like he is so busy, busy, he yeah. Like he couldn't do it, and yeah. and like the problem is, is now it's been so long that I don't. Like, there's, yeah, there's, like there's, posting there's, an episode, like. The information yeah. I would the information is still one hundred percent relevant. However, um, the person that we recorded with is now at another studio, so there's a potential right. to just do a new episode and see if we can't get that to go. Oh, true, true, true. Um, you right, you right, you right, you right. You right, you right, you right. So and like it's like I hate I hate playing word games where I'm like talking around what it is. Effectively it was just we had a conversation with somebody at Naughty Dog about getting into the industry and mm-hmm. and the process of Re- doing that bitter. you know and, and just kind of like ways you can better position yourself for employment in the in the gaming industry um so like the the information is relevant to anyone trying to get into the industry and it it doesn't matter what studio you're looking for it was kind of just like general knowledge Essentially the do's and don'ts right pretty much so um it's just that there was obviously some information that would be developer yeah. specific, and so that part made it, you know, mm. not necessarily <laughs> postable without approval. So, and it's not like there was no trade secrets. It was, not, it was just, it's just, it is what it is. Um, yeah. So that said, that's it's an unfortunate episode that gets shelved. Mm-hmm. Um, but again, it's not like we can't. Uh, yeah, can't we can't do it record again. with someone else. And yeah, just do it again. Start a new, yeah. Yeah, because we had we had Billy from Soccer Punch, so it's true. It's true. Uh, had some friends from some indie devs. I actually have to reach out to the guys that did Viking Squad. I'd love to have them on Slick Entertainment, available cool. on PlayStation Four and Steam. Go buy it. Like right uh, now. Yeah, it's right it's now. it's fun. Three player, three player co op, multiplayer, local and online. Oh, yes. Which more devs need to do that with their, like, beat-em-ups or, you know, side-scrollers or, you right. know, anything that looks like it has multiplayer. Just put multiplayer. Just, just, just put do, Like, just do it. Don't make it, don't, don't make it just, yeah, don't make it just local. Not everyone has friends that they could just invite over. Yeah, and, like sports know. friends. Hashtag friends not included. <sighs> Still a little salty about that. Right. Cause like, could you imagine playing that one where you use the sticks to hit the balls across the thing on the string? 
whatever right? game, whatever that game is called because they all have the like joust, weird names. Whatever. The uh, fancy the joust. Like I want to play. Like I want to stream that against people. And yes, I guess I get it. If you streamed it on a couch with four, you know, four people, and you were all playing in person, like you're gonna be screaming at each other. But like it, you would exist online too. Yeah. Like, right. Let me have some fun. Jeez. Yeah. Come on, man. Um. So yeah, so that's that's that. But I'm, ex- that. I'm, ex- I'm excited to see stuff at PlayStation Experience. I'm excited to go see. Like the problem is, is like so many people I know that I thought were going are not. So now oh. I'm like legitimately like, fuck. Am I gonna be by myself for like the majority of this? Because like I have one friend who had to cancel. You had to cancel. Um, right. And then a couple oh, other people I know were just like, yeah, if it was in San Francisco, I'd be there, but it's not, so I'm not going. And I'm like, oh man, that's. Uh, so I'm I'm a little uh, a little bummed out. So I don't know I don't know exactly what I'll be doing, but since I don't, it, it like the same rule applies. I don't have to be anywhere, and that's like my favorite part. I don't right. have a I don't have appointments. I don't have You're not to, scheduled. I don't, yeah. yeah, I don't have to go see this game. I don't have to go talk to people. I can just do whatever I want. So I True. think I'm just gonna go see a bunch of panels, um, try and connect with people that I know and, and you know, keep working the uh the get into the industry angle. Um yeah. especially with now where I, I you know, I have the ability because of my job to transfer easily to relocate, yep. you know, relocate much more easily than before. Like I could legit be like, yo, if you have something I can relocate like it's true. soon. It's true. You know, with, and, 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 and the benefit of that is I can relocate. And even if that doesn't pan out, still got a good job. I'm falling back on. It's true. Hashtag get my boy hired for the Lord. Yeah. Hashtag hustling for your main man. <laughs> Uh, so that's, that's like the cool part that at least this time when I go to, um, meet with like, you know, whenever I get a chance to chat with people, like at least this time when I say like, I'm willing to relocate in, in you know, right, yeah. a short yeah, amount of time, like change now, now, now one, I've got pocket change two I've got a mm-hmm. job and true, three, true, true. you know, I can just pack everything up in the, in the hoe and go, you know? Yeah, exactly. Boom. You good to go. So that part's that pr- that I think that introduces a little bit more potential because uh-huh, um, uh-huh. I think they'll be like, well, we know him, he's good, and he can get here relatively quickly. So like, exactly that part's cool, yep. right? I'm sure some of them would be like, oh, it'd be great if you were already here, and I'd be like, give me like, give me like yeah. a few weeks, like right? prob- like probably probably like th- probably like a minimum of three weeks, and I could be like get my transfer in order and be gone right it's like i got you like because I, I just have to find a store that's nearby and a place to live true and like true. there's gonna be a there's gonna be a store i can transfer to mm-hmm. in the general vicinity of where i want to be you know right so that said that's that's what uh, that that's 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 your Black Friday update mm-hmm. and PSX mm-hmm. and obviously we'll do an episode we'll try and do an episode really quickly after because um, I'm literally only there for that like that weekend like I get back on the fifth right so it's I'm like afraid. I fly out Friday I'm there Saturday mm-hmm. Sunday I fly Sunday get home Monday night like I get home Monday morning Monday night yeah at like fucking like three or four in the morning because I'm just because I'm just punishing myself. I really wish, like, I really wish I could sleep on a flight. I've never been on one before, I like, so I, don't I can't. Like... I can't sleep on a plane. What's like? And like, it's five hours. Like, it's a direct flight. I hate non-direct flights because I feel like you're just. Oh, waiting. there's no stops. You yeah, just like I just straight there and back. Yeah, because like I just feel like if you stop, you're usually just wasting time. Because like you fly to one place and then you have to wait for the other plane to be ready board it, go through the process, and then that flight takes off and then lands. And it's like by the time you go through all that, like, yeah, you've you've taken shorter trips on a plane, get off the plane, whatever, walk around, but, like, just get it over with. Just put me on the plane. Let me throw some music on. Right. The one I had, the flight I would have taken would have, like, two stops. Yeah. But anyways. Right. 
So that's that's you know. So obviously, next episode we'll be discussing the PlayStation Experience event. Mm-hmm. Experience. My experience at PlayStation Experience. Experience. <laughs> Yeah, mm-hmm. that's that's about it. So I mean, if you're if you're interested in in the shenanigans, uh, I am on the social medias: Twitter at so after I said, Snapchat so after I said. I can't believe I'm doing. I did Snapchat. Ugh, it's, <laughs> you, like ninety percent of my snaps are literally just me driving. Like I'm just like videoing it for like a few seconds while I'm driving like to work. A few of my friends, they do that. Yeah, like it's just like there's not like I don't I don't get like I don't really get it. I'm sorry, internet. I don't get the appeal of snapping okay. random shit. Like my phone yeah. is always in my pocket. I'm not it's thinking like, ooh, log. I should snap this. Like, it's just whatever. You take a picture of your food. Yeah, I mean, I you took want, a picture of pizza last that. night because I got home at midnight after working on computers and ate some That's pizza. Fun. Uh, oh. I'm on Instagram. It's so after I said. Uh, that's about it. Periscope. So after I said, I don't periscope anymore, though. Not unless it's a hey, fuck you, Mike. Right. Um. Hopefully, I'll I'll run into Greg while I'm there. Uh, let's try and see what else. What else? What else? What else? I think that's all my social media. So obviously, you can follow the podcast at the DGCast, the DGCast dot com, YouTube dot com right slash c slash the DGCast where I will occasionally post gaming videos and obviously the podcast. It's also available on iTunes. Mike Ooh. at mtong1. And is that, is that everything? That's it. Yep. I mean, I have other it's social medias, but I don't use them. It's just, it, I'd use them, but they're, just, they're all different names. So it's mm. like, what's, whatever. Right. I'll type it in a post, but yo, follow that shit. Co. Cool. Uh, so yeah, so that's, that's that. I'm going to hopefully post this very, like today. And, On the house. Uh, with that, that will conclude this episode, episode 77. That's 77. Yeah. And mm-hmm. we will catch you. On the flip. <laughs>